Hello everybody. Welcome to my home and welcome to my art room. I'm Sam or Sam I am. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fantabulistic myself. Really, really excited to be here with you guys. Even though it's really early in the morning, it's like almost six o'clock. I couldn't sleep, so I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and get up. I finished another video, thought I'd start a new one. Like the last one, I don't need the number generator for my project. I already have something picked out. If you're new to my channel, then let me kind of give you a little background. Normally, I use a number generating app to help me with my project, to pick out the colors for my project. It's kind of something that I figured out to do when I was having so much trouble choosing colors. Nice colors, beautiful colors, something with some pizzazz, some zest, and instead of just being ordinary, plain, and vanilla, this was a good way, number one, to challenge me, and number two, to come up with some great new color combinations that hopefully will help you as well as me, and give you maybe an idea of doing your own number generating system with your own colors. Uh, to date, I have 492 different colors, so I'm growing. I have more than I haven't... Uh, numbered and put into the system yet but i'll get there so today i am going to do one of my pictures i will put um pictures at the end of the video of the other ones that i've done this is a smaller one but basically all this stuff i might not use it but i have it out to use it we're going to make a beach scene but first we got to put our resin on here so this stuff is really premature I just wanted to have it out so you could kind of get an idea and get excited about what we're going to put on here after we get our color on here. Which the colors I've picked out are all from eye candy and they're all a pigment powder. We have Indian Red, number 350, Shuri Red, number 353, Kyoto Red, this one's a new one that I don't have in numbered yet. Candy Red is 357 and Mashito is 376. So we will call Kyoto Red question mark for this, this project since I haven't numbered it yet. Okay, then I'm going to use 14 karat nugget gold also from Eye Candy. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love it. Um, let me open it. It just flies everywhere. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah. It's going to add so much pizzazz some zest and then i'm going to put some of this um iridescent white chunky glitter in it i thought that would pick up the pink really good then i got all oh these this is believe it or not bath salts that i got from the dollar tree but look how good that's going to look the pink how can you go wrong and i've tried it in resin before they didn't dissolve and go away or anything like that so they should be pretty perfect on here then I got some seashells, a piece of driftwood, some little bling bling dots, what do you call them, flat back sequences, some gems, um, these little, I don't know, rattan balls. I put a couple of those on my previous ones, it's just a little something something. A couple nice big starfish, maybe, little starfish, maybe, little baby sand dollars love them we'll put at least one here we got the big scallop then we have the big eyeball looking thing or maybe a booby a madonna booby <laughs> we got these little teeny tiny shells we got these um i just call them a snail shell i know that there's a proper name for them i actually got these from laura at laura's art corner yeah so I'm excited to use those. Now you would think green and pink, but there's some color in there that would pick up on the pink pretty nicely. I got these little snail shells that have the pink in them. Very pretty, and it's the iridescent. That'll look really good with that iridescent glitter. Then I got some of these tubular things, dude. And some holy things, God bless it. And some more holy things, God bless them. And, uh, oh, these things are cool. These little things, and they got some pink. Got it away from the pink, but it's got highlighted pink. 
So that's about everything that I got. Some little other things that we might add. But that's, like I said, the next stage. And we can go ahead and get the resin poured on here. And that'll be done in a couple of hours or so. Maybe a little longer than that. Then we could do all the fun stuff with it. But first, you got to do the work. And I'm going to go ahead and put you on hold and get all this cleaned up. Get the resin mixed up and have just the colors out. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. I'm back. We have a rainbow of reds and pinks. Well, actually, I think they're all technically considered a red. Anyway, the way I like to do my micas is put a little bit in there and then put it with a little bit of resin and mix them up that way and then add the rest of my resin in. So let's go ahead and put in a little bit of resin in each cup. I've mixed up 15 ounces of my resin of choice, which is ClearCast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. It's VOC free. It cures crystal clear. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio by volume. And it was originally supposed to be 14 ounces, but yeah, it ended up being 15. Oh, well, because I had like just enough of B, just a little ounce more, so. Rather than just leaving that little ounce in there, I went ahead and mixed it in. Isn't it funny when you end on exactly uh, an exact number? I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a sign of you've been doing your measuring correctly. And see, just mix them all up. These colors are gorgeous. Somebody might not think pink is really cool with the ocean, but a lot of people have ocean decor that's not necessarily all blues, you know? My last picture like this was in the greens. Very pretty. Like it was dark ocean green, sea foam green, so sea spray. <clears throat> and they weren't blue. Wow, these colors just are awesome. Eye candy doesn't fail though, does it? Yeah, you know, easy to just mix in. They're just ready to be whipped up. Then you won't have any loose mica floating around in your resin and your finished project because, you know, we hate that. This is almost a foolproof way to keep that dry mica from floating around in your project. It's pretty foolproof for me anyway. I know you probably don't like to see me doing all the mixing, but some people do. I know when I watch videos, I like to see it all. So that's the way I do it here. And I'm sorry if you don't like it or don't have time for it. So please don't hesitate to use that fast word, but don't forget to stop. Don't forget to stop. white is pretty. I just don't know if it's much different than the other whites. But hey, whatever works for people works for me. To each his own, right? Oh my god, my hand is tired. Whew. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to say? Let's get this pouring party started. Yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to go around and split this up. Here we go. This is the Kyoto Red. The, I must stand up. The Indian Red. 
Shuri Red. Candy Red. Ten carat, fourteen carat nugget gold, and Mashido, aka White. All right, we have this much left, so I'm gonna go around and divide it up. We did good. Probably won't need all this, so I will be making uh, something else. I have a snail working. I have. A unicorn I can make. There's always something that we can make to use this extra resin that we didn't need. Let me go ahead and get all this out real quick. I know, I know. Hurry up. Get it. Get to it. Get to it. Here I am. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Right now. Put that out of the way. Now we need to finish. Ooh. I wish y'all could see. I got this brand new. Um, oh, it's going to rip. This brand new apron. Can you see it? There. It says, smiley, lucky. I, I just thought it was a cool apron. I didn't care what it said. I'm going to go ahead and mix, finish mixing these up, guys. But I put it on, I came out in the middle of the night, had my pajamas on, so I said, let me put this on. And not even five minutes later, I knocked the whole jug of resin out down on me. And thankfully, I would just put the apron on, and it poured down the front of me. And I mean, what are you going to do with it? It's not like you put it in the washing machine. So I had to let it dry, and it's still on here, brand new, and I have hard resin stuck to the front of my apron. It just cracked. That was funny. This candy red's pretty different, isn't it? I'm not quite sure what kind of candy is that red, but it's different. And I just love this. This is one of my favorites. You know what? I didn't make any for my glitter. I knew I needed some. Can I get any out of this? Since I didn't mix it all in and it's white, maybe I can do that. Not much. Doesn't leave much weight either, but we'll do what we can. Right? Right. That's all we can do. Do what we can do. Do what we can do. Um, what did I do with the glitter? Anyone? Anyone? I don't see it. I really don't see it. Oh my goodness. I know it's right here staring at me, isn't it? Oh, it's over here on my side bench. I don't want a whole heck of a lot of this anyway. I'm just going to put this down towards the bottom where all the shells are going to go. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Right now i got to move them out of the way and get the board over here. And I just totally mixed the colors up so I'm not sure what I'm pouring with. I hope y'all watch. <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> uh oh, there goes the frog in my throat. <coughs> it's early. Let's see. 7 o'clock? Quarter after six. Not bad. Alright, move all the micas. Glitter. Extra sticks. Put the glitter here. Wipe my fingers a little bit. Oh 
don't get any wet resin off of here, guys. Sorry. Okay. And here's the board back. So, <clears throat> first thing we want to do is make sure this bad boy is level. It's a little off there. Pretty good there. Okay, so we need to go up that much. Let's find some popsicle sticks. Oops. Oops. And there we go. It's off a smidge. Let me put another popsicle stick under there. Perfect. All right, now let's see, make sure it's still good this way. Oh, that's what I hate. Um, I need something to put under here, y'all. Let me find something. Oh, I got a coaster here. Let's see if that works. It does. There we go. All right. I think that just moved a little bit. Nope. All right. Ready? Here we go. Ouch. I just knocked myself on the head with the ring light. No rhyme or reason, just pouring. This is the pouring party. Not boring, but pouring. Go with the goal. I debated whether putting the gold in here, but I think most big pictures like this should have a metallic in it. I don't know. This is my opinion. That's pretty. Machido. <laughs> I know which one that one is. glitter in here. So I don't want a whole heck of a lot in there anyway, so I think that worked out beautifully. Alright, let's go back through. I'm thinking, guys, looking good on your end. All right, last little bit of glitter. I didn't go over how I have the tape on here. I've made it, went around the sides, made sure it was, um, 
adhered really good all the way around the sides and I've made a wall. So the resin will stay in here. Pretty neat, huh? I didn't come up with the idea. I saw somebody else doing it on YouTube. I'm sorry, I don't know who, but they gave me the knowledge to do it. So thank you, whoever I saw do this. And wait, my fingers. So we can pick this up and move it side to side without pouring any of or spilling any of this resin over here. And now it's probably going to get off level, off level, unlevel. I'm just going to rock it all around. See how these colors mix nicely? It's very bright, y'all. Very dark red more red than I thought it was going to be. I needed more pink. It's not exactly going to go with my beach theme, is it? Oh boy. So what to do? What to do? What to do? What am I going to put in here, y'all? I'm going to have to think about that because I don't have any idea. It was supposed to be pink. I mean, I guess I should have known when they said red, not pink. That I was going to end up with red. Okay, so I might as well. I mean, I don't want to waste any more resin on this, do I? But I got all this resin, so let me. I don't know what to let me do, guys. I don't know. First, I do know we need to do this. Put some heat on it. I have to show y'all my new little lighter or torch, whatever you want to call it. I got it the other day. I was at, I mean, a bait shop. That's what it's called. And I was in there, and I was looking, and they had the big ones, and I was like, I don't need a big one. I said, you have a smaller one. They were like, yeah, they're over there. So I looked, and I had the choice of this, the skull with the flowers, which isn't bad, pretty colors, or one that said Cheech and Chong. I did appreciate it. I thought you guys would appreciate the skull a little more than you would the Cheech and Chong ones. Maybe a few years back I'd have gotten Cheech and Chong. Well, let's just say several years back. Time flies, right? Make sure you, your lighter goes out. Okay. So, this is about all we can do. I think I should put some more gold in here, don't y'all? Let's try that. And then, how about I blow it with the torch? I might as well just put the rest of this daggone resin on here. That's why I made it. It'll be nice and thick. Since I don't know what it's going to be, I don't think it's going to go very good with the shells at all. I mean, I think red is probably the one color that shells don't work with. You know? I don't think I've ever seen a, actually, I don't think I've seen a red interior in a long time. Hmm. Oh, well. I'm going to just add more red. Somebody might be infatuated with red, and that's all they put in their home. You never know when you go to craft shows what people are looking for. Different stuff. You know they want handmade different. You can only hope that it's your handmade different that they're looking for. Right? Right. I really wanted to save that gold and I didn't. I have my little snail going on and I have black in them. I 
Put a little bit in there when I finish a project and I've had some left. I try and keep enough left so I can put another layer in him. I've done several of the snails. They're very cute. I wanted to do one on here, but somebody else has already beat me to it. That's very popular on YouTube, so I don't want it to seem like I'm copying. Early bird gets the worm. Sorry, y'all, it's early. I got the sniffles, got the frog, got the just waking up. All right, y'all, getting down to the wire or end of the line, whatever you want to say. We're almost at resin. Should have done more white. Or Mashido. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. But didn't, didn't, didn't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No more glitter. Not even a drop. Alright, so we're going to blow this around with the heat gun, I guess. See what happens with that. I got a lot of resin on here, y'all. Probably a lot more than I need. And I'm really hoping that it stays right where it's at. You know what I mean? That I did a good job sealing this sucker. Because it is on my main board. Which, I might put you on hold. No, I'll wait till we're done with this. And then I'll do my moving it, with it over to the other table. Let me wipe my hands off some so I don't get my heat gun all nasty. Try and keep the tools as clean as possible, right? I don't know which head to put on this. Do I put a head at all? This one? And this is a serious question. If anybody knows how to answer it for me, then please do. I'm going to do without. put a head on it. It's not doing much without one. I don't want to touch this thing and mutilate myself for life. The things have nightmares about it. There we go. another speed on the seat gun. You got way too much resin in here. This is pure in no time. about all I'm going to do to it. I don't want to muddy it. You know? Yeah. I like just a hint of gold. I like the colors going together. I just don't know what I'm going to put on here. i got to figure it out. 
<sighs> why, why, why did I do that? Colors, why? All right, gang. Well, till this gets cured, there's nothing we can do. I'm going to contemplate and figure out what the heck I'm going to do with it. So hang tight. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Came back before our piece was dry. It came right back to you, actually. I've mixed up some more resin. I've got this cool mold. It's a candle mold. So how cool would that be to put this on the the piece? The oh my goodness, the piece we have drying on the canvas. That's the word I can't get out of my mouth. But if we take this and it's right attached to the side say this is the canvas we will attach it just like this so then it could be candles granted we can't use real candles but there are um led candles so i will get those to put in here and i think that would be fabulous so i didn't want something that stood out so much so i thought how cool would it be just to put in the gold leaf which is what I'm gonna do I went ahead and mixed up the resin I'm I gotta put this up everything's gonna be blowing if not you can't see it it's out of screen but I have a my resin curing plate has a thermal thing on top of it an insulated <clears throat> froggy throat this morning y'all as usual sorry not much I can do about it I drank coffee I drank tea maybe I should drink some whiskey <laughs> Kidding. Just rhymed. Can't imagine drinking first thing in the morning. It's been so long since I had a drink, I can't imagine drinking. It's just not my cup of tea anymore. Or <laughs> cup of whiskey anymore. So you don't want this to be globbed up when you're putting it in. I really hate working with this stuff. I will be honest with you. As I can be. Yes, I do, because look, this is what it does, is it sticks to you and everything around you. Uh, let's mix this down in there. Maybe I should have done this a little sooner. I put the resin on the resin curing plate a little while, so, because you know, heating it up will speed up the curing process, take some time away from your working time. So I, uh, I mixed up 12 ounces of my clear cast 7000 from the epoxy resin store. I'll put that piece in there, might as well. And I think we've got a good fill. I thought this would be just enough without, you know, being in your face, the candle part. I didn't want to take away from the red. I gotta get some of this off, y'all. <laughs> Forgive me. I can't stand it. It's all sticking to my fingers and my board. All right, I can get that in a minute. Now that's off my fingers. I'll get that one little minute. Okay. So we will go ahead and pour this. I don't know if I could pour it in this cup. I need a pincher. I need a pincher cup. Get a little stick. Make sure this is broke up enough. No clumps. Don't you think this is a cool idea though? I'm sitting here thinking, what can I do with this? And the candle mold from Craftspire. I am an affiliate with them. It caught my eye and I was like, man, that would be pretty cool. Something unique. I love unique. Different. And I'm probably going to have enough of this left that I can put this in my little snail. I'm 
And I'm going to throw this on the resin curing plate. Hopefully this will be done before the panel is cured. So I can get it on there while the resin is still wet. If not, then I'll figure out another way. There's a will, there's a way. This is my little quickly and efficiently so we don't burn the mold. But there's lots of bubbles in there. And I could use the alcohol since there's no color to this. That's one reason I don't use the color is because I feel like it distorts it some. I'm going to go around because I see lots of bubbles up against the side. So I just take the little skewer, something that won't scratch the bottom of the mold, and just go around dislodging any bubbles that are trying to go on a ride and be in our candle holder. Ain't happening today. There's a lot of bubbles there, though. Okay, so we'll let that settle. And when I put it on the resin curing plate, it will dissipate some more bubbles. So I'm going to find something to do with this gold. And I'll be back to you guys when this is cured, ready to be put on the panel. Somehow we'll figure out how we're going to do it. Hang tight. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I put our piece on the resin curing. I don't want to, can you see it? Look, it's cured. I don't want to release it from the mold and the stuff, any extras land in our piece. So I'm going to do it over here. Maybe you can see a little piece of it, me doing it, taking it out of the mold. I really hope this idea works. Because I think it's a pretty cool one myself, if I do say so myself. See? Now we need to decide which end. And, oh, I gotta do that end up. All right, I don't really like how this has got, can you see that? It's got a round spot, but I think this side's deeper. If that makes sense. I tried to balance, level it out as much as I could. And it's not flowing very much. I don't know how sticky it is. Let me see. Um, mm, let's try this here. Down here in this corner. Oh yeah, it's still liquidy enough. Alright guys, here we go. We want it to be center. Here some. Oh, I'm nervous. All right, this looks even. And we'll turn it, make it a little straighter. Looks like we have the same distance on each side. Let me check that. I'll look. I'll use the. Instead of eyeballing it, I am going to tape measure it. So we are at. How? Well, to the tape, it's two inches, but you know, the tape's not exactly straight. So this is only one inch, so I need to come this way some. Hopefully it's not messing up the resin here. Nah, it's still liquidy enough. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. I'm going to move it just this way, just a wee bit. There we go. Very game, that's what I'm going with, and I'm sticking to it. Actually, I stuck it to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. Hopefully, this turns out good. I didn't know what else to do with it, game. That's what I decided to do. Hopefully, it's not a waste of resin. We shall see. All right, game, I'll be back when it's cured. Hey everybody, I'm back. I got our cured 
project almost cured it's it's actually kind of really sticky still but I mean I can touch it and that kind of sticky but I put these little gems down on there just just to see if I liked them thank God I didn't just dump the bag on here I had the hardest time getting a few of them off I'm like mm, trying not to mess up the resin I was like goodness Sammy, what were you thinking anyway I think this turned out really cool I really like it see this is I'll show you guys where you get this kind of view see the candles go in here I'm gonna put the candles they came today the LED candles so they'll go in there I'll give you you know of course I'll give you a picture at the end but for now I wanted you to see what the holes look like pretty cool huh so I had a major major awesome thing happen while I was away from you in between shots I should say well, I'm working on another video. Well, I was looking at this and I'm like, even with the candles, I'm just not happy with it. It's just the candles never, let me grab them. Hang on, what's it? They're breathing. I don't have batteries in them yet, but you'll have to use a little imagination with this, but I, I gotta put the batteries in them. I just got them. So, really close to the canvas but it's all right because they're not real so so I mean I think that looks pretty cool but it's missing something so I was thinking I could do a geo theme up here well it just so happens I was working on this other video and I feel like something that I did in that video would work really well with this that was until I put these candles on. Now I'm not so sure. So we are going to discover together because I'd like to link these two videos because I already told in the last video that I was going to use those in this video. You'll see. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. I made these. Aren't they cute? I love them. And it's actually different reds that I got, but they're still reds. So I had them down here, closer to the, where the candles are. But since the candles are there, I need to move this up, which is okay to be hanging over the sides with it, right? Adds a little character. And I want this to be level and these to be even. Uh-oh. I bended it. I'm going to have to go ahead and put it in. So I'm messing the resin up. Is that what we want? I can't tell. Is that even? So there. And then I have these little flat backs they're very cute these right oh oh my gosh they're dropping everywhere there must be there is there's a hole in the bag ah oh my gosh here let me go right here no wonder these things weren't cheap either they're not like the broken glass oh my god hold on one second y'all let me grab this real quick Okay, sorry about that. But this is what they are. See, it's just a flat back, I guess. So it's pretty cool, but I thought I would put them along underneath here like they were on the water. And then imagine the, uh, the light twinkling against it, against them. They're gonna be stuck again. I better not do that. I don't know. What do we like it? Do we like it? I'm getting ready to have to like it if I don't get them up real quick. You like the swans? I don't know. We need something. And I just thought it just worked out good that these were in the other video. I think they're beautiful. I mean, really, what else can I do with them? I think they were made for this board. So, I am going to go ahead and do it. 
I'm going to take this tape off and I'll go ahead and adhere the swans there and we're going to have to put in a small layer of resin and by then I'll have these rocks down the way or gems down the way I want them because right now I'm not really quite sure what I want with them I do know I have this handful of gems hold on there that'll work there I don't want them to spill everywhere so I think the gems underneath will look good and then I thought ooh I have to tell you you know because my sides i had remember originally this was pink canvas because this was supposed to be pinks not reds well so the canvas is pink on the sides so what i was thinking is or what i'm gonna do i ordered it is the sheets of the gold foil like this i ordered the gilding glue or adhesive then i'm gonna put down the sides and i'm gonna put that gold all the way around the gold leafing all the way around what y'all think? Doesn't that sound good? I think it does. You know, I mean, it's something different. It's Valentine's Day, e, so you're probably only going to pull it out once a year. Why not go a little tacky? Maybe it's not tacky. I don't know. I just, the idea came to me, and I'm rolling with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. Here we go. Oh, but my point is, is taking this tape off, I'm going to have to do the, the foil down the sides. Let me take these up for a sec. I don't want to take them up because I like where they are. Don't I? Don't we like where they are? Uh-oh. This, this might not be cured enough for me to take it off. It's going. It's coming. Here we go. Whoops. I'm just like so stoked that those swans in my last video match this. I think I'm stuck with some tape, y'all. I got some that doesn't want to come loose. But loose, they got some dashes. Oh, I can't sing like that, can I? Oops. I didn't see enough of it, right? I'm okay. Um, alright. This tape is not wanting to come off on this side. Maybe the resin was not as deep on this side. As you know, the deeper it is, the quicker it cures. All right, got a good piece. Come on, keep going. Fabulous. All right, one more little piece. All right, it started. Come on. We are in the money, y'all. There's one little piece of blue down here that might not be able to get off but I think I can in one second oh, I don't know thank you I had to get it you know that I had to just get that I did not sit here and talk to you comfortably knowing that little piece was there all right so is that lined up in the middle I'm gonna have to turn it y'all to me so I can tell Lining up their tail feathers. And it makes a heart, and then they're like that. Come 
What do y'all think? Does it look good? I don't think I want to go any higher. I think it's just off of it enough to be beautiful. And there's this big ugly spot under, I'm not moving it. But you can probably see just the outline part of it. There's a big circle in the uh, mica. I don't know what made it do it. But I saw it starting out small and it just kept growing and growing. And it's like about that big. And I was like, man, that looks ugly. So did I cho choose the wrong side to go from? But I had to do something. It was just so blank and plain. And I'm, I mean, some people like that very simple color, just color. But not I. Okay. So now I can't do anything because I'm waiting for the the foil to come so I can do the sides and that. And then I will pour a layer of resin. And then that's what I was going to say. What do y'all think? I just really want to use this, but now I look at it, I don't think it's going to go very well. Yeah, they're not even the same golds, are they? I will find a gold. Let me look. Hang on. I will try to find a gold, I should say. I don't know. My wall of glitter, it always seems like when I want a color, I can't find it. No. No. That looks green, doesn't it? How come I don't have a good gold? I mean, I don't get it. Oh, wait a minute. Damn it. I do have a good gold. I always forget. There's my gold. I can use gold sparkle glitter from Laura's Art Corner. That is the gold I need. Oh, oh shucks. So, I was thinking I will put that in these gems that I put along here. So look, should I put it in there and then kind of have it trickle down? What do you think? So it kind of look like a waterfall? I really want to put them on there. You think that's okay that those are off there, but these are even here and here. Isn't that what I want to make even? I think so. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to have a heck of a job to do for I have to remove these because y'all don't like them. <laughs> I just think the candle flashing on them, flickering on them will look just really pretty. What do y'all think? Is it looking good or what? You know what? I'm going to take these off. 
I'm gonna quit um, what's the word dependent on them and going without them in my vision Act like I don't know they're going to be there. That's the word I'm looking for, or phrase I'm looking for. watching the news earlier and you know, I try and watch it every night even though it's so sad sometimes late tonight I was watching about that earthquake over in Asia and those poor people they showed this baby being born the mama was in labor while she was trapped and they got the baby but they couldn't get to her I mean thankfully the baby lived that's the way you have to look at things, I guess. I don't know. Y'all still there? I'm deep in thought for sure, y'all. Thinking how I think this looks pretty cool. And wondering, should I let it go all the way down? Like it's, and let it be like it's filling up here. You know? throwing them in the floor. These weren't as cheap as regular fresh glass. I mean But 
What do y'all think? You think it's beautiful? Seriously? Because I, I kind of do. I think it's really pretty. And I just think it's so cool how this is from my other video. And I just really wanted to get those swan because I just thought they were pretty, the molds. And then to make them, and I used generated colors, didn't I? Did I? Uh, hmm. Hold on, let me think real quick. Yes, I used generated colors for these. So, and these, I you I picked out, right? Man, I don't know. I've done three videos at the same time. I really don't remember. But that's okay. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I'm doing. It's just cool how these were generated. And at the same time I was working on this. And the colors were so good together. So now my question is, do I put any glitter in there? I don't think it needs it. Let's see what the candles are. I'm going to put the batteries in. Do y'all want to wait? I'll put you on hold. Hold on. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Look at our beautiful picture. Isn't it gorgeous? But we're not done yet. All right. I did a couple things while you were gone. I had planned to do the gold foil around the outside. I was going to do the gilding uh, adhesive, then put the um, foil on top, and then put the varnish on it after it's dried. Well, I forgot to order, or I didn't order it that I thought I ordered from Amazon. So, I thankfully have gone ahead and did the sides, can you see it, in gold pen. Because I was going to put the foil on top of that. But, I just went ahead and made sure the gold was a little, made sure it was completely covered. Because that's what we're going with. I'm just going to resin the top now. And, um... Do the sides, the underneath, I've put liquid latex on the bottom so it can drip down the sides without getting on the bottom. I'm going to try and not get any resin on the top of the swans. It'll just all be around. That's my plan. I mean, because these are actually stuck pretty good. See? But they're not, you know, they're not going to be there like that for years, I don't think. And all my stones aren't all stuck. Anyway, we're going to use as little resin as possible. So here we go. Let me take the candles out. And they're so cute. Oh, that can stay down there. All right, I'm been trying to figure out the best way to do this, so... Hold on, I got this fan blowing. There, I'm going to put my shield up. Maybe I'll do a cup. Let me use a little cup. I'm going to be here forever with this stick. I ordered new cups and I thought, wow, that's such a good deal for heart cups that, you know, are normally for just Valentine's Day. And I like the 9 ounce cups. That's what I normally get from Sam's Club. Well, according to Amazon, the ones that Sam's Club has is um was actually more expensive than these and i was like okay well i'll just get those well when they got here they were not nine ounces like they're supposed to be 
So, I called Amazon and they gave me a $10 promo gift card type thing. So that's fine. I mean, I need the cups and it's just a little more of an inconvenience, but you know, I mean, come on, it's just a cup. It's not that bad. Right, right. Sorry if my big pulled up hair, probably looking a little on the greasy side, is all in your face. I didn't take my shower today yet. I take it before I go to bed. So, unless I have plans, then I take it in the morning. I know y'all were just dying to know my personal hygiene schedule, weren't you? really did not mean for that to go over because if I don't have to get it on the sides then I'm not going to or do I want them on the sides I think I do want it on the sides oh gracious I don't know You know, since these have sunk down into the resin, I'm going to put some more on top. I think that's going to be the best thing to do so I can get that look like I was, like I had. Really wish I just stuck these in yesterday when I said, oh, these are so sticky. Then I wouldn't have had to do this coat, but I didn't know, did I? Nope, I didn't know. Didn't know, didn't know, didn't know. Ah. Oh.
think I should do around the side since it's leaking that late. And I won't have to go through and try it and wipe the sides that didn't get it. You know what I mean? It's just as easy just to take this and go along and paint the sides. So that's what I'm going to do. Add a nice finish to it, too. Right, right. Mm-mm. Oh, it's one of those ones head.
I think I got everything. I think I should wait till it's a little drier and I'll come back in tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I forgot y'all were here. I've been over here doing all this. I hope I haven't said anything I shouldn't know. I forgot y'all were here. I've been so focused. Okay. So, since um, I'm pretty much done, I will come back to you guys once this is cured. Or if I do something else in the meantime. Again, I'm sorry I haven't spoken to you guys. I forgot that y'all were here. You're so quiet. Damn it, you gotta talk more. Hold on, hang tight. Good morning, everybody. Good half a second to you. But look how far we've come since you were away. How pretty is this, y'all? Let me turn this light out. Let me turn some of these lights out so you can see. How pretty is that? Isn't that beautiful? Let me turn it this way. You can't see the full thing like this, but isn't that pretty, y'all? There's the big goose. Swan. I love it. I think it absolutely turned out beautiful. And then the bottom. Yep. So, now all we have to do, but some of these are still not set in. I have to take them off because when it was kind of cured, I came in and I put some more. Let me turn the light back on. I came in and I put some more of the stones, gems, so it wasn't sunk all down into the, it, you could still have some sparkle. It wasn't all sunk down in the resin, which I thought was a brilliant idea if I do say so myself. <laughs> no, I just thought it needed it. So now all I have to do, number one, let me take, turn these off. Aren't the, these candles dreamy? I got them off of Amazon. They'll be linked down in my description so you can get some yourself. Then my Craspire candle mold that will also be 
down in my description with a coupon code. I have to remember it. I have it written down somewhere. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I do have it though. They are nice enough to give me one. It's 10%. So, all they have to do now, well, we're going to turn it upside down and get any of those loose gems. But we have to take off the latex. So I wanted to show you all how easy this drips come off since I put this latex on there. See, they just pull right off. And the, all this latex is just coming right with it. Pulling these little drips like a dream, y'all. Look at that. And I'm not disappointed that we didn't get to do the sides in the foil. I thought I was going to be, you know, how I wanted to do the foil, but I know it seems like it was just a few minutes ago for you, but it seems like it was. It was a, two days ago for me. Maybe just a day. I don't know. I don't even remember. So anyway, I'm going to pull all this off and I'll be right back to you. Okay? Hang tight. Hey, everybody. I'm back. I decided to put it this way so you could get the full view of the finished product project and it looks so good i'm very happy with it uh the swan molds i got from amazon the candle holder i got from craft buyer uh, everything else i got from michael's except the resin and uh the gold foil so i'll include those in my link the other ones came from michael's so a little bit of business. I have a giveaway going on for subscribers. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. You'll be entered to win the giveaway, which is a pigment paste pack with the Ocean Basic Colors from Just Resin. Another uh, promotion or a program I have going on right now, you make at least a $5 donation to PayPal, you get a color in your honor on my channel. Just tell me all the details are down in the bottom. Read about it, if you would, please. If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. While you're there, if you don't mind subscribing, it doesn't cost you a thing and it sure helps my channel. It helps the algorithm. It's all about the algorithm. It likes to see subscribers, likes, and multiple videos from the same artist viewed at the same time. Well, not at, you know, back to back to back. If you do that, I'd appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, oops, bye.